Evangelist Jeff, yes. welcome to the Trust to Freedom studio. Thank you very much. I'm glad to I be here. I know that it's your first time. Yeah. But uh, I am glad that um, you have actually accepted the invitation mm. to come. Yeah, I, I was actually very excited about, you know, coming over here. Yeah. Because, you know, I've been um, also checking um, out what you're, your, what you're, what you're doing. You yeah. Know, and, and I'm actually very interested. And I was very interested. And so when, you know, you, you reached out to me, I was like, I'm coming over to, to Swakop. And so let's do this. Yeah. You, you, you actually came for a crusade. Yeah. Yeah. I should just um, finish the crusade. For um, a three day crusade. Yeah. A three day crusade. So it was, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. And it went down and it was successful. The Lord really blessed it. And it was Praise wonderful. the Lord. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see. For those that don't know, um, who is actually evangelist? Jeffrey, mm. because I know who Evangelist Jeffrey is, but for those who are watching this video right now, who are listening to it by audio, who yeah. is Evangelist Jeffrey? Well, Evangelist Jeffrey also is basically, you know, from Windhoek. Yeah. I am um, a preacher of the New Testament, mm. you know. And when I say that, a lot of people think I don't believe in the oh, Old yeah, Testament. The Old That's Testament. not what, what, what we're saying. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. You know, yeah. I believe both Old and New Testament. It's just that I understand the New Testament, you know, um, is, is after Christ's death and, and, and resurrection, right? So yeah. it's resurrection. Now the New Covenant is what the Bible reveals in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. the Bible. And so yeah. we are, Paul said, puts it, puts it this way. He says in, um, I think in Second. Corinthians, right, chapter three or so, he mm. talks about we are ministers of the new covenant. Oh yeah, and he's talking about the new testament. So if Paul says they were ministers of the new testament, yeah. the new covenant, then you know, and that's the covenant that we are all un that we are all supposed to be under. Yeah, right? yeah. then that's that's why we are ministers and I'm a of the, of the new testament. testament. So yeah. I'm from the Church of Christ. I'm, mm. I'm an evangelist. Yeah, Jeffrey House of and obeyed the gospel in baptism in uh, 2013. Okay. But only, only started preaching in 2020. Mm -hmm. So ever since then. Okay, it took quite some time, it eh? It took a lot of time. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. That that reminds me of the story of Paul uh, uh, after being baptized uh, uh, and uh, how long he took before, you know, beginning to preach. preach he wanted uh, to make sure that whatever he was preaching was in alignment with, the with word, what yeah, with the, the with others the, were the, also the, yeah, yeah, preaching yeah, and so on. Yeah. Yeah, so True. this is very interesting. But uh, there's a detail there that is uh, very interesting, which um, there was a time on a WhatsApp group where we are together, mm. where you posted one of your um, testimonies and so on. And then I realized there were two pictures there. I realized that Evangelist Jeffrey was actually Slammer, his stage name, you know, back then when he oh used to do music, goodness. was yeah, Slammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't know that. I mean, the transformation is amazing. It's amazing yeah, how yeah. the Lord can uh, change people mm. to a point where you can barely recognize this person. Yeah, whether they yeah. are the same person. Yeah, yeah, whether they are the same person uh, or, uh. or whatnot, yeah. But um, what can you say about that? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's it's as, as Paul puts it, you know, like we, you become a new creature, a new right? creature. You know? yeah. So basically, yeah. that's that's the whole idea um, that um, that the New Testament, that the Bible actually reveals in Christ, you know, mm. and and the Word of God basically, you know, um, starts to now come alive in you. Yeah. Right? And so, you know, I just basically, you know, when I obeyed the gospel, like I said in baptism, then you know, obviously, I was still, you know. Didn't, I wasn't living faith yeah, yet, yeah. You know, because I didn't really understand a lot and th until I started, you know, going to Bible study and, and so forth and started realizing that hey, I need to change my life. I need mm -hmm. to change, s sacrifice certain things about the way I live and, and, and about the way I think about myself as well. Mm -hmm. I need to change, you know, that, that whole perspective that I had, you know, and, and, and how I, the type of future, that the type of life, the type of person that I also wanted to be, the way I dress, the way I speak, the way I, you know, present myself, yeah. you know, I have to look at all these things because all these things actually, you know, um, does matter, you know, in this, in this regard, you know, when it comes to, to glorifying God with your life mm -hmm. and, and, and your body, you give it as a, as a living Seven sacrifice, right? Yeah. Um, it it is, yeah. Yeah, so, and that's basically, you know, how I, I was able to, 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 to look at it. Yeah, but uh, you know uh, what they say, which I also believe is true. Uh, many people came from 
bandages. Many people came from, you know, some yoke, some enslavement and so on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what was that thing? Because music is quite a beautiful thing, yeah. you understand? Yeah. Music is quite a beautiful mm-hmm. thing and you get to meet, you know, the rap shoulders with all of these other mm-hmm. celebrities. In your case, I don't think that you view them as celebrities because you also had celebrity yeah, yeah. status, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, how did you get to a point where you decided that Okay, even though there is this fame, there is money mm-hmm. to be made here, there mm-hmm. is there might be a future, but I'm leaving all of this behind. And what were some of those addictions that you went into that you thought they were impossible for you to leave behind mm. by your own effort? Yeah, that's a that's a very that's a very hard one, you know, because that was the that was that was that was you know leaving the music industry. Yeah, it was just the hardest thing that I ever had to do. Like I'm not even like that was so hard. Yeah. Because you know, you know, I had all these friends in the industry, you know, that just could not, you know, like, like understand, guess, understand yeah. like yeah. where this is coming from. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And I just, you know, and that was also very hard for me. And like I it was really imagine. hard for me to actually let go of 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 because music was actually a part of part of who I was, who, yeah. who I am, and yeah. who I've exactly. become. You know. Yeah. And so it was like letting, it was like me denying who I am. Yeah. That was just weird. You know, like it was really weird. I know. It becomes yeah. like an identity. Yeah. It was, yeah. You know, it's like a stamp on you, a, stamp a tattoo on, that can just can not never be. go away. And yeah. The exactly. love that I had for music as an artist, music was, was everything, you know? So yeah. at this point, like letting go of music meant like letting go of my identity, you mm-hmm. know? And um, and so now there's also another thing is not only are you gonna let go of your music, which was your your profession, which was what you did, yeah. But now um um and who you were, you know, it was also now changing from being an artist, being a public figure, being a a celebrity, the yeah, way you put it, yeah, you know. Exactly. To that, now the question is okay. Now what am I supposed what to am be? I gonna be yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that was yeah. the, the, that was really the like I couldn't I couldn't really understand where, uh-huh, you uh-huh. know where God wanted where me to, to, where to, to go and yeah, where, where am I yeah. gonna be now? And yeah, so exactly. Later on, you know, I now I had to now really you know I had to isolate myself. Right? Yeah, I had to cut out everything and everybody that had to okay. that had to do with the music industry and also with me, my friends. Yeah, I just had to sort of isolate myself and. And just sort of have no voice speak speak into my life, if I can put it that way. I'm not yeah. trying to be weird, like many people try to. Oh be yeah, weird exactly. Like, oh, yeah. Nah, you know, I'm not trying to be all that. Uh, I'm just saying, I just have to a- isolate myself and sort of just make time for the word. And yeah, just sort of yeah. study the word, and mm-hmm. that's when I um, basically had, you know, time to now because I wanted to know who am I going to be, what's going to be my new identity. Mm-hmm. Because where is God trying to take me with this? You yeah. Know? Because um, it was hard for me, and I didn't know what I was gonna do now. You know, once I let go of music, okay, mm. what type of li- what's what kind next? Of, what's yeah. next for me? You yeah. Know? And how am I gonna live my life? And trust me, mm. when um, we were doing Bible study 2019, I had another a guy who was actually leading the Bible study. Um, yeah. We used to call him Brother Thomas. He was like, "What if God, you know, what if you're gonna become, um, um, you know, like a preacher or pastor in the church or something?" I was like, "No, no, no!" And I was very, I, I didn't you like, going too far yeah, with and, this. I, and I didn't even want to hear him joke like that. Yeah. I was like, "Bro, you're you're playing with God. Yeah, don't don't do those things. Yeah, like, let's not go like that." Because I mean, come on, I couldn't see myself like that. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, I was a rapper. <laughs> yeah, all, my, all like, I was a rapper. You know, my music is. Was yeah. so was so on the other side. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. And so now you're telling me I'm gonna be a pastor, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be a preacher. Mm-hmm. Oh you know, imagine me preaching in the church. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh no, bro, you're you are just going yeah, to you don't know you're what playing. you're talking yeah, about. Let's not, let's not even talk. I don't <laughs> yeah. wanna make jokes like that. Exactly. I don't think you know I'm worthy of such <clears> you know, <throat> for me to see myself to, yeah. like that. Like I'm not I don't wanna be that that's yeah. that's that's a, that would that's a that's very just not me, yeah. It's not me. That's yeah. that's it's too holy, you know. Mm-hmm. That's a holy calling. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, I didn't know that that was actually God's intentions. Yeah, you know, for my life. For that's you, actually yeah. what He wanted. Me. Yeah, wow. not a pastor, but a preacher, wonderful, an evangelist. Wonderful. He actually wonderful. wanted me to preach yeah. on the pulpit on Sundays, go mm-hmm. out and actually tell um, people around me yeah. about you know um, the kingdom, the word of God, the yeah. word of God. Wow. And so that's now that Amazing. became my new identity. Yeah. But did you ever go back to Brother Thomas and say, "Hey, what you?" <laughs> Me and Brother Thomas, yeah, you know, I, you know I, I, this is this is quite personal, right? Yeah. Me and Brother Thomas, basically, you know, 
we went separate ways. Okay, and okay. It didn't end well because yeah, it does happen. It does happen. Yeah, universe, but this yeah. was this was kind of weird because he was actually the one who recognized that you know I do have a, a, a preacher yeah, calling, calling as, you as a preacher. Yeah. And he was actually the one who appointed me in the office. Okay. And then um, after I, after okay. I got appointed as a, as a preacher, yeah. you know, my first sermon, mm. that was 2020, um, I think it was on the 16th of February. Yeah. I still remember it. You were appointed that same year? Yeah, yeah, 2020 I was appointed. But now this was a process yeah. that actually went through 2019 towards the end of 2000, uh, middle and end. 2019. Yeah, I was I was really being trained thoroughly. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know it was it was night and day. Just really, just I was just in the Bible, just yeah. studying. And then and, and when I got appointed, my first sermon mm -hmm. was actually about you know false doctrine and false teachers. Yeah, and and believe it or not, I had to call Brother Thomas out. Okay. And rebuke him on some uh, on a lot of the things that he was he was teaching. Yeah, because um, you know I don't I, I shouldn't actually say Brother Thomas out like that. But oh, anyway, yeah, no. Um, um, but no, at the same time, you know, um, that that actually just truth being brought out. I yeah, mean, it's not to slander him or anything yeah, no. like that. Besides, this is not a part of uh, what this show yeah, does. It's not, but, it's not but, to but really yet, hurt anybody, yeah, yeah, it's not to ashamed him. You shame are just anybody. telling your story. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Everything that you went through, mm. uh, this could bring a reconciliation. One never knows. So, never know. Yeah. Maybe we might. Yeah, yeah so precisely. Maybe that's also yeah. a good point that yeah, you made. So, my first sermon, basically, I had to call him out on certain things that that you know, because the problem that, that I had is that he would use the Bible, yeah, and then, but now he would twist the Bible mm. at the Bible study and 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 to teach um and to to promote. Of, um, because he was teaching yeah. out of a book called The Teaching of Light. Okay. But then he would use the Bible to, you know, and, and twist the message of the Bible to promote the teaching of light. Okay, but now the teaching of light, who's the author of that specific book? Um, I think it's, uh, it, I think it's uh, um, uh, basically a, a, a um, book and a doctrine that, that, that originates maybe from the time of, you know, from Gnostic teaching okay. back in the in, in I think the first century or you know those times. The Apostle John actually talks about that. Okay. It's about this belief, right? This belief that there is, you know, two gods or okay. two versions of God. Yeah. God is good, mm. but God is also bad. Yeah. If you see somebody, you know, um, get um, for example, just an example, right? Mm. According to what they were that what the teaching of what God, was being taught, yeah. What was being From taught is book, yeah. yeah, you're being taught like hey Look at the Bible. Yeah, God is good and God is also bad. If you see someone get poisoned and die mm -hmm. in a bar, you know, someone puts poison in and, and kills somebody or mm -hmm. someone gets poisoned and a woman gets raped or something like that. Yeah. He's saying that's God's do. But God is oh, only using okay. Satan to do his bidding. <laughs> okay. If you see a woman... <laughs> that's a weird yeah, one, yeah. Exactly. And yeah. so it's like and uh, some of the verses that they would use from the Bible to twist that message mm -hmm. is like, hey, Let's go to Job, right? Yeah. There you see uh, in the in the book of Job, you have all the angelic beings who are gathering mm -hmm. to, to give I account see exactly God. how that and then goes. Yeah. Satan would also gather there and then God yeah. would ask him, where have you been? Mm -hmm. And Satan would say, no, I've been around looking for, you know, doing this, you know, crawling around. Mm -hmm. And God is, and so he's giving an account of his, you know, him, himself to yeah. God, reporting to God. Yes. But that's just to show God's authority. Yeah. And and then God says, notice my, my, my servant, you know, Job, Job. and yeah. then they take such scriptures out mm -hmm. of context to see, mm -hmm. you see these bad things that are happening yeah. when, when somebody dies, you know, get somebody gets, dies of a cancer or somebody gets hit by mm -hmm. a car or whatever, yeah. or somebody gets stabbed or robbed or, or raped or killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's God sending God's Satan doing, out yeah. to go and do these things. But, but, but that's wrong because wrong. we are not really considering the end of that story. Exactly. Which is uh, not even the end, the conversation between God and yes. Satan, where God says, do not touch yeah, yeah. his soul. Yeah, and why? Even, because it belongs to me. So that means do not kill him. Yeah, do not, yeah. do not, do not do that. So, and, and that's even wrong for him for, for to, to to actually use that to say that the killing and the things in the world. Yeah, this is God's doing. This is that's God's not doing. God's doing. It's like they are collaborating. Satan is the one doing this. Yeah. God only said, "Don't kill him." Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. God never told him. 
you know, Anything go and do further, these things. Yeah. You know, and God never said, go and do this thing. He just Neither said, have you kill his children as yeah, well. Yeah, he, he never said that. Exactly. God just said, have you noticed my servant, how faithful he is? Mm-hmm. And that's when Satan starts speaking. He said that all know, by himself. Just because, yeah, all, all out of himself yeah. because he's evil, right? Yeah. So he starts speaking, oh, well, he's just faithful because of this and this and this and mm-hmm. that. But if I, but if you allow me to do this and this and this, that's yeah. out of Satan's will. That's yeah. what Satan wants. Exactly. So if you allow me to do what I want to that guy, mm-hmm. then you'll see him curse you. Yeah. So God never said, I want you to do this to him. No. Yeah. Satan said, if you want, he was challenging God to say, if I can do this, yeah. you know, I, he, he's going to turn, turn, um, turn around and, and he's going to exactly. exactly. And God just said, okay, you know what? Just don't kill him. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you take a verse like that out of, the, out of out context, of context and teach yeah. that God is a bad God also. Yeah. And God is good the God, one. Bad God. Yeah, Satan is basically wow, doing God's wow. will. And so they teach good that's God and dangerous. bad God. And that's where we see the Apostle John writes yeah. in, in, in First John and yeah. says, you know, God is light and mm. in him there is no darkness. So he's yeah. addressing this Gnostic type of teachings. Yeah. You know, that God has some kind of evil. Yeah, in him so it's the opposite. Death. So they use it's that kind of writings. It's the opposite. Mm. So basically, all um, 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 matter is evil. Yeah. Basically, it's like this body is evil. Mm-hmm. So the savior of the world couldn't have come into a in a human in form a human body because yeah. that would be evil. Yeah. So Jesus never came in the flesh. But then Paul, um, the apostle John, addresses that and says, anybody. Who, who confesses that Christ did not come in the flesh yeah. is an antichrist. He's an antichrist. So the Apostle John mm-hmm. was addressing this Gnostic teaching yeah. and this Gnostic, Gnostic teachers yeah. in, the, in the Bible. That, that, that's amazing because even though it's being rebuked, it still found its way in today, books. You know? after two yeah, in the church years. today. Yeah. So, so, so <laughs> that's very amazing. Yeah. So um, it's very clear that there is no uh, limit to what Satan is able to, to do. do. Exactly. Yeah, to deceive the people mm-hmm. of God and so on. Mm-hmm. There is really no limitation to what um yeah he's capable of doing. He's so cunning. Yeah, you know, he's, he's so cunning he's very so cunning. subtle to, yeah. in how he comes through mm-hmm. and so Somebody can use the Bible today and, and, and walk around with a big Bible, for yeah, instance, yeah. with a suit and a Bible and say, and preaching in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. But then you have to really ca- um, 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 be very careful. Be yeah. very careful. Be very some, careful. A lot of times they're using these free books, mm-hmm. and whatever these additional teachings yeah. and twisting the scriptures, you know, for their agendas. Yeah, for their personal agendas. Yeah. Very true. That's yeah, so Thomas, because of that, you yeah. know, we, we basically had to, you know, <laughs> so, separate, I, yeah, yeah. so I was like, look, what are we going to follow? Yeah. Like, we actually had to congregation right mm-hmm. and so i was like that sunday i was like are we going to follow the teaching of light mm-hmm. or are we going to follow the bible and so i said look any everybody who is who is going to follow the bible mm-hmm. stand with me yeah and everybody and 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 if you want to follow anything uh, in addition to the bible which mm-hmm. is which is which is not according to the bible yeah if you don't agree with the bible okay then you know you can go your way but if you want to follow only what's in the bible mm-hmm. then please Let's 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 make that decision now because I I'm getting confused. Yeah, I can't be here fighting with 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 what I read in the Bible, and 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 choosing to follow some other book, you know, or some other teachings, mm. you know, that are, are are directly contrary to the scriptures. You know, for yeah. example, some teachings were like, hey, you know, when your kid is when when you see your children doing wrong things, mm. man, don't 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 even try to correct them. Oh yeah, that's God. You you know. Um, wow. Using them, or somebody come yeah. and curse you in your face, yeah, you know, and saying bad things to you. He's mm. saying, just know that that's God using the devil wow. to come and do that. You know, <laughs> things like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow! Does the Bible not say you are, was you are too much. to raise your children? You are to discipline them, discipline them, not spread the rod from them. As a matter of fact, according yeah. to, the, to, the, to the way of the Lord, precisely. Yeah. So you have Precisely. to be there. You have yeah. to. You have to be there. You know, help. You know, growing, uh, yeah. teaching your children the right them way, raising the right them way. Yeah. the right way. Exactly. So it was just too much for me. Yeah. And then, but but uh, you you said those who are uh, for the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Stand with me. Yeah. And those who are not, I don't know what you're gonna do. How did that go? And that went. Some people went with him. Yeah. And so and and the, but the, the the majority you know stayed with me and then that's how we. we that's how you continue. That's, that's how I we I start. Wow, I that was a that new, was quite a lot a of church boldness. Church of Christ, a New Testament church. That was quite a Christ. lot of boldness. Mm-hmm. I salute you for that because you, um it's very few people that are able to challenge error. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. when that error has raised them. Uh, uh, it was really hard because this yeah. is a brother that I, you, you exactly. understand one thing. Exactly. Yeah. This is a man that I respected, that I mm. trusted, that I loved, yeah. that I looked up to very much. Oh yeah. You know, he was—he's he's a brother that I really looked up to, man. And 
I, I had to, I had to, I had to cry tears mm. for this brother. Yeah. You know? Like later on, you know, I had to really like, yo, God, mm. why did it have to? To happen like the way that it yeah. happened, yeah. You know, but then, you know. Separation is not happens. easy, especially yeah. in the faith, because uh, I, I believe we get to love brothers within mm. the faith mm. more than our own blood That's as the, time goes uh, on. We mm. get to be attached to them so mm. much because we've shared so many moments with them mm. and, you know, they've laid hands upon us, they've directed mm. us. Mm. You know, they some brothers become us. like, they with you, you precisely, know, like, you know, yeah. uh, uh, they become like father figures, you know, exactly, uncle, exactly, grandpas, and so models, on. Yeah, role models, models exactly. And, so when it reaches to a point where you clash and you need to separate, and there's no other way advice. out of this, yeah, but to exactly, separate but from but that to separate, person. That's yeah. a very sad, it's a very it's a sad thing. It's a very sad thing. And yeah. you know what follows? Satan will make sure that there's competition between the two of you. Mm. You know, there, there's that uh, sort of rage, sort of yeah, conflict yeah, yeah. attitude. I've you never know? really seen him yeah. ever since. You know, I just saw him one time. I remember, you know, I was I was driving, yeah. and then I was about to take a turn, mm. and then I saw him. You know, at the side of the road, he was he was. You know, I don't even know if I should say this, but he was crossing. But yeah. I was like, hey, that's that's my that's the that's, that's the my guy. Brother, you yeah. know, yeah. You know, and then you know he was he was looking at he was and then he was trying to greet me. Yeah. You know, but now the thing is, in Second John, you mm -hmm. know, verse nine through eleven, the Bible yeah. says, "Look, if anybody does not agree with the with the with the teaching of Christ, mm -hmm. with the New Testament, the Bible, yeah, then you know, don't even don't don't welcome them into your homes. Don't yeah. even greet them. Yeah. So at that point, you know, I didn't have a choice but to just you know try to avoid him. Yeah. You know, because you know, I mean, if he agrees with the Bible, he has my number. Yeah. You know. Call me up and, and say, hey, you know what? Maybe we we, we should sit down with the talk with together, say, yeah. and see where where we went exactly. wrong and how we can, you know, um, yeah. do things again. Yeah. So if it was something like that, yeah. you know, then maybe there was a chance. But then you know he was just greeting me, and so you know I had to do what the Bible says because the Bible says if if you greet somebody that is clearly contradicting Scripture as some sort of a, a being a teacher of the of the Word of God, yeah. is not teaching the truth, and and somebody tries to correct them and show them what the Bible says, and they still disagree. You know, then the Bible clearly says, you know, avoid, avoid yeah. such people. But does in the book of Corinthians say you should not treat them as an enemy? No, no, no. It's not an enemy. Yeah. You just avoid them. Okay. You know, okay. you know. So it's not like you have anything against. Yeah. You know. You know so there's no there's love. Yeah. You know, like I even said, I had to cry later on, mm. like about this brother. I was like, man, I really. You know, I thought it was going to be us. Do you yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. But exactly. now, okay, he chose to go that way. Yeah. He's not agreeing with the Bible. Clearly, mm -hmm. it's either the teaching of light or the Bible. Yeah, exactly. And you, you choose, like you you choose, choose another, another, yeah. another um, doctor, book, yeah. another book yeah. from, apart from the Bible. Mm -hmm. So that's clearly a split. Yeah. So, you know, I, I love you, but I mean, I... I, I love God more. More, so, yeah. You know, exactly. so it comes down to that. Exactly. It comes down to that. So otherwise, if I don't love God. brother or sister more than me. You know, yeah. it's not worthy Jesus of even me. Says that. It so, comes down to that. Yeah. If you do not abide in the doctrine of Christ, you do not have God. Yeah. Second John verse nine. You exactly. Know? Yeah. yeah. Now it, it's an unfortunate actually how um, you separated, but again, the Lord sets people apart. Mm -hmm. Understand. Yeah. And sometimes he needs to actually separate you from certain people mm -hmm. in order for you to pursue um the purpose for which he mm. has called you for Amen. yeah so in that regard wow. it makes a lot of sense you know yeah um it's 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 something to 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 actually look back and say i lost a brother mm. but trust me you would have lost your own life yeah. many other people if you abided by that doctrine many other people would have been lost along yeah, with, with you yeah. and him you Amen. understand yeah so true yeah so the lord is able to separate people set them apart for a better mission